Hey, how's it going? And welcome to this Football Manager experiment video. Where I have created two perfect strikers. One who has got nothing but perfect mental attributes. And the other one has got perfect physical attributes. They both start off as 15 years of age, about to turn 16. And they're also on two different continents as well. I've got Yan De Jong, who starts off in a Ajax's youth system. And I've got Manuel Gonzalez, who starts off at River Plate's youth system. I decided to select two very well-known youth systems across the world. Ajax, obviously well-known for producing incredible players. But also River Plate, producing many great Argentinian players in the past as well. So, interesting to see how these two players will get on. And in terms of the players themselves, well, Jan de Jong, he is the one who's got perfect mental attributes, as you can see here. As you can see here, every single one of his attributes is 20 in the mental uh, mental column there. But also, he's got 15 for everything physical and 15 for everything technical. That's important, at least, excluding corners, free kicks, long throws, marking and tackling. So, although he's very good mentally, well, perfect mentally, as you can say, he's still very good in the other departments as well. Also, I've decided to freeze both the players' attributes here in FM to make sure they don't lose any of their, uh, their great attributes in the mental or physical column. The other player I've got is Manuel Gonzalez, of course, who's playing at River Plate. And, uh, of course, he has got 20 attributes for every single one of his physical attributes there. So, he's uh, yeah, he's a very good physical player, it has to be said, with a tw well, 20 accelerations pace, 20 strength as well, and 20 jumping reach. But, again, similar to uh, De Jong there, everything else is in 15. So, every all, of his all of his mental attributes are 15, and all of his technical attributes are 15 as well. So I've decided to do it like that to make it as fair as possible. Uh, obviously, Gonzalez is known for his physical side of the game. And De Jong is known for the mental side of the game. But they both can play very well in the other departments as well. Also, they're both natural strikers. They're both six foot two as well. They're both 12 stone eight. And they were both born on exactly the same day. So the only thing separating the two players is the fact that De Jong has perfect mental attributes and Gonzalez has perfect physical attributes. The real question here is, what is more important in football manager? Is it the mental side of the game or the physical side of the game? Obviously, it's, uh, it can go either way here. You know, it depends on what team they're playing for. Also, it depends what style of play they're playing for. But in general, which one will do better is what I'm, uh, what I'm asking the question here is, will it be Gonzalez with his perfect physicals or De Jong with his perfect mentals. I'm going to go forward in this video three seasons at a time. So let's see how they're doing three seasons in the future. Well, three seasons down the line here. And surprisingly enough, they're both still playing for their youth team. De Jong is still at Ajax, of course. And Gonzalez is still at River Plate. Uh, De Jong, though, he's not very happy. He's actually... Uh, wants to leave the club. He wants to leave Ajax now. He probably feels like he's uh, too big to play for Ajax these days. And Gonzalez, though, seems happy enough. They're both on international duty as well. De Jong's on international duty with the Netherlands and Gonzalez on international duty with Argentina. So they're both broken into their respective national teams, which is great. Um, also, De Jong has got a transfer value of 47 to 142 million pounds. So he's definitely uh, catching some people's attention. But Gonzalez is still only worth between four to 12 million pounds, which is very interesting. Well, of course, looking at the attributes, nothing has changed. Of course, I've frozen the attributes for now, at least. And uh, But De Jong, though, he's got six caps for the Netherlands already. Yet to score a goal, unfortunately. Also, he uh, can play as a right winger now, which is uh, very interesting. Well, in the first two seasons, he didn't make an appearance for the Ajax first team. But in the third season, he broke, to, uh, broke into the first team. He's made 42 appearances in total, scoring 19 goals and getting nine assists as well. So, pretty good debut season for De Jong and Ajax there. Gonzalez, on the other hand, he's got three caps for Argentina, so half the caps De Jong has got, but he has got one goal where De Jong is yet to score a goal for the Netherlands, which I'm sure will happen very, very soon. Also, Gonzalez broke into the River Plate uh, first team last season, 2025. He scored 20 goals in 28 games, and he got four assists as well. And this season so far, he's got 21 goals in 30 games and four assists as well. Also, we should compare the players here. Obviously, we know what's going on with the two, but if you compare the two players here, well, obviously, Yan De Jong is uh, a lot better mentally. He's also slightly better defensively. He's also better attacking-wise and with his vision because, of course, uh, attributes like vision and flair come into the mental side of things with 20 and also composure and off the ball with both 20 for De Jong as well. But, of course, Gonzalez is better in the air because uh, mainly because of the jumping reach, of course. Uh, he's a lot better physically. And he's a lot better with his speed as well. So, obviously, it's not just about the mental and physical side of things because of the other attributes as well. So, 
De Jong, you'd say, is a, he's a better footballer, you should say, but Gonzalez is just so good physically. Uh, that's just absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? So after three seasons, they're both still playing for their, uh, their youth team, Ajax and River Plate, but De Jong is now unhappy at the club, and uh, I don't think it'll be long uh, to see him leave, the, uh, leave Ajax, but also Gonzalez. I would expect him to leave River Plate by the sixth season mark. Well, six seasons in now and both have left their youth team. Gonzalez is now playing in the Premier League for Liverpool and Jan de Jong is now playing for PSG in the French League 1. So let's check out Gonzalez first of all this time. Of course, nothing has changed with his attributes as you can see there. Still 20 everything in the physicals. His Argentina record is very impressive to say the least. He's got 29 caps and 20 goals already, which is incredible. He's also a star player for Liverpool. He's not just playing for Liverpool. He's a star player for them. And he's on 350k a week as well. So in his first season with Liverpool, I think it was a half a season there, he got 15 goals in just 20 games in total in that season. His first full season with Liverpool, he got 21 goals in 40 games with four assists. And in the season just gone, he got 22 goals in 47 games and three assists. So not the greatest goal scoring record for Liverpool, it has to be said. Also in his final season for a play, he got 28 goals in the league and he got 35 goals in 50 games in total. Uh, his first season, Liverpool, he got 15 goals in 20. That is very nice. But the next two, uh, just over one in two in the 28 season and just below one in two in the 29 season. So nothing incredible uh, for Gonzalez in his goal scoring record for Liverpool, but I guess you can say he's getting over one in two, which is uh, pretty decent to say the least. Has he won any major trophy for the club yet though? Well, as you can see, Gonzalez has won the Premier League already with Liverpool, but he's also won the World Cup as well with Argentina in 2026 at the age of 18, I believe. So that is uh, rather impressive, it has to be said. So he's only won two competitions so far, Gonzalez, but two very big ones. Probably, well, the biggest club, the biggest league win you can get in uh, club football, it has to be said, in the Premier League there. And he's also won the biggest trophy of them all, the World Cup with Argentina. So yeah, very good so far for Manuel Gonzalez. What about Yang De Jong? He's playing for PSG, but he's a wanted man as well. He's actually wanted by Bayern Munich, so uh, he might not be at PSG very long. We shall see about that. Wow, his record for the Netherlands is nowhere near as impressive as uh, Gonzalez is for Argentina. He's got more caps than Gonzalez has got. He's got 36 caps from the Netherlands team, which is uh, very nice, but he's only got seven goals, so only one, in, one goal in five games for the Netherlands national team, which isn't amazing, let's be honest. He's also only a regular starter for PSG, and he's on 225k a week. So in all those departments there, Gonzalez looks to be doing better than De Jong. Let's check out his goal scoring record, though. Well, we actually went to PSG on a free transfer, which is, uh, yeah, very annoying for Ajax, has to be said. In his final season with Ajax, he got 16 goals and 10 assists in 39 games. And his first season with PSG, he got 17 goals in 43 games. And his final season, he got 21 goals in 42 games and eight assists as well. So uh, the records in terms of the goal scoring isn't too uh, dissimilar to each other, really. Um, obviously, Gonzalez scored more goals for River Plate than uh, De Jong did for Ajax. But in the season just gone, he got 21 goals in 42 games, did De Jong. So rather impressive, has to be said. No one's got over 30 goals yet in a top five league, at least. Uh, Gonzalez did that with River Plate, but uh, hopefully uh, that will happen in the future. Has he won any trophies, De Jong? I expect he has, playing for uh, PSG. He's won the Ligue 1 twice, the French Cup once, and the Champions Trophy once as well. Unfortunately, he didn't win any competitions with Ajax, which is a little bit surprising. Uh, and also, he got to the European Championship final with the Netherlands, but unfortunately, they lost that game. So, six seasons deep, I'd say Gonzalez is doing better than De Jong so far. Seeing as Gonzalez uh, has won the World Cup and the Premier League, whereas De Jong has won the league and twice, but no big competition internationally to talk of for him, although he did get to a final in the European Championship. Well, in terms of the big awards, only De Jong has won any so far. He actually won the Next Gen Award two seasons on the spin playing for Ajax at the age of 18 years of age and also at the age of 19 years of age as well. So it seems like the media definitely rated De Jong very highly in his early, uh, early career. Over Manuel Gonzalez as well. He didn't make the top three in any of the single seasons, which is very interesting. But De Jong won the next gen, two seasons on the spin there. But also in the under-21 football of the year, neither of them won the, uh, the, the award. Endrick won the award, playing for Real Madrid. Uh, but Gonzalez finished second in 2028 season, whilst De Jong finished third in that season as well. And the season before that, De Jong finished second in the list below Warren Zare Emery. So six seasons deep. It seems like Gonzalez with the great physicals 
is doing slightly better so far, winning the World Cup with Argentina and getting a slightly better goal scoring record uh, for his national team and at club level as well. But De Jong has won more awards so far. He's won two awards, whilst uh, Gonzalez is yet to win any. What will happen nine seasons deep? Well, nine seasons deep now, both players are 24 years of age and they're both still playing for Liverpool and PSG. De Jong is a wanted man again though, obviously Bayern Munich didn't sign him in the end, but Man City are now after De Jong, which is very interesting. Hopefully that can happen, so they can play in, in exactly the same league, which would be very interesting. Let's check out Gonzalez first of all again as well. Well, I have frozen his attributes, but as you can see there, his stamina has gone down by one. 220 to 19 which just makes it look not very neat at all does it so that isn't very nice but must have happened due to an injury which uh, can affect their stamina bravery uh stuff like that etc well his goal score record for argentina is still very nice 51 caps and 35 goals he hasn't got a pay rise though since we last see him he's st still on 350k a week which is uh yeah a little bit unheard of has to be said in terms of his goal scoring record as well, it's going very good. He's got double digits every single season he's played in, so that's very, very nice. But his best goal scoring season came in the 2030 and 2031 season. He scored 26 goals in 47 games in 2030, and he also scored 26 goals in 46 games in the 2031 season. The season just gone, he's got 23 goals. But as you can see there, by the lack of appearances, this is a season where he probably picked up his injury. So, yet to get over 30 goals in a big league, Gonzalez, but 26 goals is his best so far. Has he won any more competitions playing for Liverpool? Well, he has won. He won the Carroll Cup and the FA Cup as well for Liverpool. So, that is nice, but only two competitions won in the last three seasons. No league title either in there, so that's a little bit disappointing. But I guess you could say he's only really missing in terms of the big trophies from his uh, club football so far is the Champions League. So... Hopefully that can happen very soon. Let's look at De Jong now. He's a wanted man again, wanted by uh, Man City this time, of course. His mental attributes are still all 20, which is nice. He's had a pay rise, though. He's on 300k a week now for PSG, but he's still only considered a regular starter. For the Netherlands national team as well, he's got 54 caps already. He's now got 20 goals, so his record for the Netherlands national team is looking a lot better, but still not as good as Gonzalez. Also, his goal-scoring record is not as good as Gonzalez De Jong. He only scored 13 goals this season in 41 games, which for a player of his calibre is a little bit poor, has to be said. Uh, his best goal-scoring season, though, came last season with 21 goals in 46 games for PSG. So, on the goal-scoring side of things, Gonzalez is definitely the better goal-scorer at the moment. It's, uh, that is uh, for sure. Which is a little bit surprising, seeing as De Jong has got... 15 finishing, 20 composure and 20 off the ball. Whereas Gonzalez has got 15 for all of those three attributes. So that is a little bit surprising, has to be said. So has he won any more competitions for PSG? As you can see there, he definitely has won a lot more competitions. He actually won the Champions League back to back with PSG in 2030 and 2031. So to win the Champions League once is very nice, but to win it back to back, that is pretty incredible. So I guess he's doing his job for PSG. He hasn't getting quite the... Uh, the goal scoring headlines that Gonzalez is getting, but he's winning the big trophies, has to be said. It does help the fact that he's got Mbappe in his team as well, I guess you could say. Uh, in 2030 as well, he also won the League Un and the UEFA Super Cup, so a treble in 2030 and a treble in 2031 as well, winning the League Un and the French Cup. It has to be said, it's a better treble in 2031, domestic double and the Champions League. And the season just gone, 2032, won another domestic double in the league and the French Cup. Unfortunately, they couldn't win three Champions League titles in a row, but back-to-back -back Champions Leagues is, of course, very, very nice. Well, fortunately, Manuel has won his first uh, individual award as well. He won the Under-21 Footballer of the Year in the 2029 season, and De Jong finished third in that season as well. So, De Jong has won two awards, two Next Gen awards, but um, Manuel Gonzalez has won the Under-21 Footballer of the Year as well. So, none of them yet to win the Ballon d'Or, which hopefully... One or both of them may do that at the end of the video, but at least both of them are now won a big individual award. But De Jong has also won back-to-back -back Champions Leagues, whereas Gonzalez, though, is the better goal scorer of the two, and he's also won the World Cup. What will happen, though, 12 seasons deep? Before we go any further with this video, though, guys, please remember that if you do like this video, hit that like button for me. It's very important for the video's success. And also, if you're new around here, do hit that subscribe button as well. It'd really help me out. And he much appreciated. Well, 12 seasons in and both players are playing in the Premier League now because Yan De Jong 
has got his transfer to Man City. They're both 27 years of age. Uh, also, Gonzalez is a wanted man for the first time, I believe. He's wanted by PSG, De Jong's former team. So that's very interesting. Let's check out De Jong first of all. Well, his uh, Netherlands record is looking a lot better now as well. He's got 85 caps already at the age of 27 and 39 goals. That's a great record. He had seven goals in 35 games, I think. So, you know, he's got 32 goals in his next 50 appearances for the Netherlands national team. So that is very, very nice. He's also a star player for Man City on 425k a week. And uh, none of his attributes have changed as of yet. Of course, got the freezing attributes on there, but it, uh, in terms of injuries, uh, they may affect some of the attributes down the line. Wow, oh my word. He actually got a transfer to Man City for 285 million pounds. That is rather ridiculous. It's actually ridiculously sad for Ajax, the fact that they uh, lost him on a free transfer because if he had a percentage in there, they would have got some big money for the PSG transfer to Man City there. Well, his goal scoring record isn't great, but uh, obviously he's doing something right. If he's getting 285 million pounds spent on him, uh, he must be doing a hell of a lot right, to be honest. But he has yet to score double digits for Man City in the league, which is very disappointing. His first season, he only got four goals in the league in 32 games. He got 10 goals in total, but in 51 games for a striker of his caliber, underwhelming. The next season, he only scored 14 goals. He got 14 assists as well, though. And the last season, he got 14 goals again with eight assists. So, yeah, he's not a great goal scorer, De Jong, but he's definitely doing something right in the teams he's playing for. Otherwise, he wouldn't get a transfer of £285 million. And a team with him up front uh, wouldn't get back-to-back -back Champions League uh, winners medals as well, would they? So, he's obviously doing something right, De Jong. Well, he's only been at Man City three, uh, three seasons, but already won a lot, of, uh, a lot of competitions here. He won the Premier League in his first season and his second season and his third season. So three league titles in a row for De Jong and Man City. Also won the Community Shield twice as well. The Carabao Cup once and the FA Cup once as well. So yet to win the Champions League for Man City, but he did win the Champions League back-to-back -back with PSG. So what about Gonzalez? He's a wanted man, of course. Wanted by PSG, De Jong's former team. He's still playing for Liverpool, though. Still on 350k a week, but he's still a star player. He's also got 58 goals in 81 uh, appearances for Argentina. And his stamina is now 17. What is going on with his stamina? I'm not liking the look of that. I'm not liking the look of that at all. Anyway, at least his other physical attributes are still 20 and still going very strong. Also, his bravery is 13, as you can see there as well. So he's obviously picked up a serious injury down the line at some point. Well, he sprained his knee ligaments, torn his knee ligaments as well. And he's also had a hip injury. So that is what has uh, um, affected his attributes a little bit there is these serious injuries he has got. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that Gonzalez is the better finisher of the two players. He's, he did score only 18 goals in the 2034 season, but he only played 43 games as well. But his best goal-scoring season came in 2033, where he got 28 goals in total in 47 appearances. So still not amazing, you know, not quite up there with the best strikers in the world of, uh, well, every single season in real life where they score over 30 Normally, sometimes over 40 goals as well. So, neither player has yet to score over 30 goals in a top five league. But hopefully, that can happen before the end of the video. Has he won any more competitions with uh, Liverpool? Well, first things first, he's won the World Cup again with Argentina. For the second time, he has won the World Cup with Argentina, Manuel Gonzalez, in 2026 and 2034 as well. And seeing as that he's only 27 years of age, he could potentially win another two or three more World Cups of Argentina. So... It could go down very, very special for Gonzalez. That is very, very nice, of course. Well, for Liverpool, he won the FA Cup again. He won it back-to-back -back in 2032 and 2033. They've actually got the four finals in a row in the FA Cup, Liverpool. So they like the FA Cup. They lost it in 2034. They won it again in 2035. But unfortunately, his trophies with Liverpool have dried up, taking away the FA Cup, of course. You know, yet to win the Champions League for Liverpool yet to win any more than one Premier League for Liverpool as well. So his trophy hall is not as impressive as De Jong's, it has to be said. Although he has won the World Cup twice, where De Jong is yet to win an international competition. Well, unfortunately, in terms of the individual awards, none of the players have made even the top three in the last three seasons. The last winner of the Ballon d'Or was Lamine Yamal, who, of course, is a, a very exciting real wonder kid. But these two players, surprisingly, with the ability they've got, are yet to make the top three list in the Ballon d'Or the World Football of the Year, or any of the other awards as well. So that's very interesting. They're both, of course, won awards. Gonzalez has won the Under-21 Football of the Year, and De Jong has won the next gen twice. Now let's go forward now to 15 seasons in the future when both players will reach their 30s.
Well, 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 15 seasons deep. And De Jong is still playing for Man City. But Gonzalez is a second of the two wonder kids here. Or the two players to play for PSG. De Jong's former team, of course. And Gonzalez has left Liverpool to go play for PSG. Not too surprising, really. Liverpool weren't winning enough club competitions for a player of his calibre. Yeah, you know, he's winning FA Cups almost every season. But these big players want to win the Champions League, don't they? Gonzalez is yet to win the Champions League. Unless he's won it in the last three seasons. Let's check it out. Well, his Argentina record is, uh, frankly, rather insane, first of all. 109 caps now for Gonzalez, but also 82 goals. That is just absolute insanity right there. He's also on 475k a week and is now a star player at PSG as well. In terms of his attributes as well, well, his stamina stays at 17 and his bravery stays at 13 as well. So thankfully, that hasn't gone down any further. Wow, also his goal scorer record now playing for PSG is very nice. But also, he actually cost more than De Jong did. He's gone for £287 million, Gonzalez, where De Jong went for £285 million. So both players are extremely expensive. And surely that's the, the most expensive transfer, followed by the second most expensive transfer. So PSG sold De Jong to Man City for £285 million. And a couple of seasons later... They spent £2 million more than that to bring Gonzalez to PSG. So that is rather interesting and a bit of a coincidence there. Well, not that much of a coincidence, really. PSG are one of the richest teams in the world, aren't they? And they spend ridiculous money. But anyway, his goal-scoring record for PSG has been very nice so far. But of course, the Ligue 1 is a much easier league than the Premier League. In his first season, though, he got 29 goals in 39 uh, games in total. The next season, he got over 30 goals for the first time. He's got 33 goals in 45 games and the season just gone he got 33 goals again this time in 42 games so he's the first player to get over 30 goals in a season unless De Jong did it earlier we'll check in a second but 33 goals two seasons back to back for PSG is very nice but also as I said he is playing in the easier league now but De Jong played for PSG never got those sort of numbers so hats off to Gonzalez there well De Jong managed to win two Champions Leagues back to back with PSG. Gonzalez is yet to win the Champions League for PSG and they haven't won too many trophies at all to be honest with you. They won the league earned in 2036 and they won it in 2037 as well. Also in 2036 he finished as a runner-up in the Copa America for, uh, with Argentina of course. Uh, his third time being in the major final but he has won two World Cups so far which is uh, of course very nice for Gonzalez. What about De Jong? How's his goal scoring record for Man City and the Netherlands of course? Well, he's got 113 caps for Netherlands now and 48 goals, but way short of Gonzalez's 80 goals or something. Uh, also, his mental attributes are still all 20, but his agility and his stamina have both gone down to 14, clearly affected by injuries as well. Oh, his goal scoring record for Man City is not very nice at all, really. Um, last season, though, it seems like he got a very serious injury. He only played 18 games. Uh, he got six goals in the league. But this season, actually, he's come back very strongly. His best ever league goal scoring season with 17 goals in 33 games. And he also got 19 goals in total in 46 games for Man City. It seems like on, uh, De Jong is more of a uh, more of a second striker, to be honest. He's uh, more of the guy who's linking the play. He does chip in with lots of goals here and there, but he's not an out-and-out -out striker, which Gonzalez seems to be. Also, his last three seasons have been much more impressive than Gonzalez has. He's won the Premier League, the FA Cup, and the Premier League again. So I think he's won the Premier League five times in six seasons for Man City, so that is very nice. But he's yet to win the Champions League for Man City. Uh, he's done it twice with PSG, but Gonzalez is yet to win the Champions League at all so far. Unfortunately, neither of the players are still good enough to be in the top three of any of the uh, the big awards uh, this season. Joseph Lewis has just won the uh, Ballon d'Or for Real Madrid. He is a regen player, but yet to fit in, get in the top three either any of these two players. So yet to have an outstanding season, it seems. Um, it's hard to pick a winner of the two uh, two players as of yet. Gonzalez is clearly the better goal scorer, goal scorer of the two players. He's also won two World Cups with Argentina as well. But he's yet to win a Champions League, something De Jong did twice with PSG. So let's go forward now. 18 seasons in the future. Both players will be 33 years of age getting towards the end of their career. Let's see how they're getting on. Well, 18 seasons deep and nothing has changed in terms of the clubs they play for. De Jong is still playing for Man City and Gonzalez is still playing for PSG, of course. 
De Jong is a wanted man. No, he's wanted by Al Halal now. So that's always a sign that their uh, their great careers are coming to an end because as soon as the Saudi Arabian clubs come in for him, they want to go for the money, of course. Uh, no Saudi clubs in for Gonzalez as of yet, but Gonzalez, with his physical attributes, uh, could go for a long time. So maybe thinking, I can stay here at the top level where De Jong, his uh, physical attributes are not as good as Gonzalez. Let's check out De Jong first of all then. Well, De Jong's bravery is obviously 19, of course. His agility and stamina both down to 14 as well. But other than that, he's looking very, very good. He's got 123 caps for Netherlands now and 55 goals as well. He has retired from international football as well. He retired on 18th of July, 2038. Did he manage to win an international competition in his final year for, uh, for the Netherlands? We shall check it out now. Let's check out his goal scoring record first of all. Yeah, still no great goal scoring record for De Jong. His best season for Man City, goal scoring wise, came in the 2038 season where he scored 19 goals in total. Unfortunately, he couldn't win an international competition with the Netherlands. He got World Cup fourth placed, unfortunately. So they obviously got knocked down the semi final and lost the third place playoff. Obviously, still a great record to get to the semi final of the World Cup, of course, but unfortunately, he couldn't do what Gonzalez did and win the World Cup. He won the FA Cup with Man City in 2039. The Premier League again in 2040, along with the Champions League. So De Jong has won the Champions League three times in total now with two different clubs, twice with PSG back-to-back -back, and once with Man City as well. Something Gonzalez is yet to do. Obviously, Gonzalez won the World Cup twice. De Jong has won an international competition, but De Jong has now won three Champions League titles, which is very impressive. Well, Gonzalez's record for Argentina is still absolute insanity. 111 goals now in 137 appearances. It seems like his goals have dried up a little bit as well in his first three seasons of PSG. He got a minimum of 22 league goals. Uh, he hasn't got more than 16 in the last three seasons. And his best season was 23 goals in 2039 in the last three seasons. So his goals have dried up a little bit, it has to be said. Still scoring a lot of goals, but not as much as he was just a couple of seasons ago. Well, 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 I did say that Gonzalez has won the World Cup twice with Argentina. Well, make that three times now. He won it again in 2038, and he actually scored the winning goal for Argentina in the World Cup final. Three times in, well, twice in a row for Argentina in the World Cup in 2034 and 2038. Well, of course, he won it in 2026 as well. So is that a new record for a player? Did Pele win three with Brazil? I think Pele won three with Brazil. So if he gets one more, I'm pretty sure that'll be a record for a player winning the World Cup. So, well, along with any other teammates he's got still playing with him. But I, I highly doubt it, considering the, the age he started playing for the Argentina national team and the age he is now. Is he retired from international football, though? He's not retired from international football yet, Gonzalez. So there's still hope that he might win a fourth World Cup, which of course will happen next season in 2042. He also won the Copa America for the first time as well in 2040. So he's actually won four international competitions, Gonzalez. Three World Cups and one Copa America. Also in 2039, he won the league under with PSG, 2040 and 2041 as well. Also won the Trophy de Champion once there. Uh, the French Cup, he won her up in uh, 2041. Did get to the Champions League final again for PSG, but unfortunately he lost that in 2041. Unfortunately, it seems like neither of the players are going to win another big individual award, uh, not getting in the top three, any of the uh, awards here, unfortunately. So it seems like no Ballon d'Ors for any of these two players unless they win one in the latter stages, which is very, very unlikely. But uh, there's still many, many footballers, many brilliant footballers who haven't won a Ballon d'Or in their career. So uh, I guess it's not that bad either, to be honest. And Gonzalez on the international stage is absolutely thriving. Over a century worth of goals for Gonzalez. Three World Cups and one Copa America. Also at this stage now, 33 years of age, about to turn 34. I think it's time to unfreeze the attributes to start the natural decline of the two players here. So that is what I'm going to do now. As you can see, freeze attributes is turned off. So... Both these players will start a decline now. Now let's go forward uh, to the end of one of their careers. Uh, which one will end their career first? Probably De Jong, since his physicals are worse than Gonzalez. But let's see if any of the players can win a Ballon d'Or, for example, or Gonzalez can win another World Cup. Well, into 2045, and unfortunately, the first player has retired, and that is Jan De Jong, the one who had perfect mental attributes, of course. As you can see here, though, his name has changed 
to Sanyika Puyun. That is because I uh, changed his name in this foot manager. It's a real player, Sanyika Puyun, in the Ajax uh, youth team, but I changed his attributes and I changed his name to Yan De Jong or set nickname for this video. So uh, it was hard for me to actually find uh, Yan De Jong when he actually retired because, um, as you can see, he didn't keep his history and also his name has changed. But I managed to find him uh, thanks to the awards here. That is Yan De Jong. He retired in uh, 2044, actually. He actually ended his career at Al Ali. He made 68 appearances and 44 goals there for Al Ali. And he also made 123 appearances in total for the Netherlands. And he scored 55 goals as well. He also won 34 um, trophies, it seems, in his career as well, which is very, very nice. Well, I know he won three, uh, he won three Champions Leagues in total, uh, Jan de Jong, but in his final season with Man City, did he win anything else? Well, it seems like in 2043, Man City did not win a single competition. So it seems like he left at the right time. He went to go retire in Saudi with the big money, uh, but he had one hell of a career, did De Jong. He won three Champions Leagues in total for Man City. Uh, well, two for PSG, sorry, back to back and one for Man City as well. He also won a bucket load of league titles as well. And as you can see, he won 34 titles in total in his career, but unfortunately, he couldn't win an international trophy with the Netherlands. Uh, he did get World Cup fourth place, and he also got to the Euros final as well, but he did not. He failed to win any single international competitions, unfortunately. Talking of the other guy though, and Manuel Gonzalez is still playing, and he's playing for Tottenham. He's 37 years of age, about to turn 38, and to be honest, he can still play at the top level. Of course, his attributes are all, uh, are all gone down, but look at it, how good he still is. 37, about to turn 38, because of his 20 natural fitness, and of course, all his attributes are 20. He's still very, very good. Very good, at, uh, to say the least. Uh, great pace still. Obviously, great balance still as well. Great jumping reach, great strength, so he could still play at the top level for at least two more seasons, I'd say. Uh... Everything else is looking right. Well, everything else is starting to uh, starting to improve now. I'm frozen his attributes, as you can see. A lot of 16s going about here. 16 crossing, 16 technique as well, 16 decisions. So, if anything, he's getting better in his old age here, Gonzalez, in the other side of his game, but not physically, of course. He's actually got 159 cats for Argentina in total now and 125 goals. Has he retired from international football? Well, I don't think he has. It doesn't seem like he has, to be honest. No, he's still in the national team for Argentina, so Gonzalez is not ready to give up yet. Uh, funnily enough, he's only the sixth best player for Argentina, apparently, which is uh, very, very strange, it has to be said. Anyways, check out Gonzalez's goal-scoring uh, form now. And when did he go to Tottenham? Well, it seems like he fell down the pecking order a little bit at PSG, only starting seven games and scoring five goals before moving to Tottenham for only £11.5 million. Pounds. It's uh, significantly less than the £287 million pounds PSG bought him for Liverpool for. Uh, this season gone as well. He didn't play too many games. Only 17 games played for Gonzalez. Uh, but he did play 34 in total, actually, with 25 goals as well. And the season before that, he got 27 goals in 46 games. So Gonzalez, he is still playing at the top level. Understandable, though, after I unfroze the attributes. Uh, Gonzalez had much better physical attributes than De Jong. And, uh, yeah, he's able to play at the top level for a lot longer than, um, than De Jong is because of that. Wow, he came very close to winning a third World Cup in a row. It's fourth in total as well. Got to the World Cup final, but unfortunately he lost that in 2042. I'm pretty sure that would make him the, uh, well, the, the player to win the most World Cups in the history of football. But unfortunately he couldn't do it, unfortunately. Um, but to get to four World Cup finals anyway is incredible. To win three and to win one Cup America is amazing. Also, moving to Tottenham might feel like it's a little bit of a... Uh, a down step to be honest but it doesn't seem like it is at all really because in his first season he won a treble including the Premier League the Community Shield and the Champions League Gonzalez won the Champions League for the first time he couldn't win it at Liverpool or PSG but he did win it in his first season with Tottenham also in 2044 he won his fifth international trophy winning the Cop America for the second time as well which is crazy he won the Premier League again for Tottenham and also in the season just gone, he won the Premier League again for the third season in a row. The Carabao Cup as well. Got to the Champions League final again, but unfortunately this time he lost the final. Uh, but he has won the Champions League for the first time. He's also won three World Cups and two Cup Americas, which is absolutely ridiculous. Well, unfortunately, neither of the players could win a Ballon d'Or or even make it in the top three of the list here. And uh, 
Which one of the players are actually the better player in the video here? Well, my pick has to go to Gonzalez. His Argentina record was insane compared to De Jong's record for the Netherlands. Over double the amount of goals as De Jong. And also his goal scoring record for his clubs was much better as well. But most importantly, he won three World Cups for Argentina and two Copa Americas as well, where De Jong failed to win any international competition. Of course, he's playing for the Netherlands, but there's not too much difference between the two nations, I'd say. So a little bit underwhelming from him. He did win those three Champions Leagues, De Jong, but Gonzalez won just one of them. But in my opinion, it seems like, so judging by the video, in my opinion, it seems like it's better to have a striker with great physicals than it is to have a great striker with great mentals. So yeah, interesting video, I'd say. Of course, many different factors come into play here. The club they're playing for, the other attributes as well. But in general, this video, Gonzalez has been the most successful out of the two players. He also, you know, he played longer in his career as well. Uh, he's still playing now. He could play for another two or three seasons, at least at the top level, I'd say, before he has to retire. But both players are very, very good, that is for sure. But Gonzalez winning three World Cups for Argentina and scoring over 100 goals is pretty insane so that is the end of this video guys as i said before please remember that if you like the video tick that like button for me and also if you want to see more videos like this do hit that subscribe button as well it'd really help me out and it much appreciated thanks again for watching and i'll see you for the next one